Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye. I'm back with Fishing Planet. We are back here in the Heron River, guys. We're still plugging it up here, trying to check, see what we can do to catch some fish to get the cash that we need to go to a European lake. And right now, this is probably a dead time. Right now, if you check the map here, you can see that it's not very good for catching fish. It's very at the lowest level that you can hit. So we're going to need to advance time. Now what we're going to go ahead and try to do here, guys, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get some flathead catfish. And it looks like the peak time for all fish is around 7 p.m. And that's also the best time for the flatheads. I might take it to 6 just to make sure that we have a little more leeway, so to speak. But yeah, I hope, guys, that this particular uh, headset that I just got sounds a lot better than the last one did. The last one had a horrible sound. This one seems to be a lot better. I'm still getting used to it, still doing some tweaking. So hopefully I'll make some improvements along the way as things go. Alright, let's go ahead and get in there because we're going to have to adjust the time. We're going to have to go all the way to 6 p.m. And this game is forgiving with fast forwarding time, honestly, because then you have to have a cool down period. So we're going to go ahead and forward time to 6. And we're going to start trying to do some fishing for some flatheads. Now I took the other people off. I'm here in a private room. So that I don't have a whole lot of jibber jatter going off in my little thing here like this. Now there's nothing. Because it kind of takes up some space in the video and I want you guys to be able to see everything. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my Brutus Rod. Now on my Brutus Rod I have a 3 out hook. I have large cut bait guys. That is the prime stuff to catch these guys. Now that is also good for catching gar, but we have decided to move on to the catfish. I will tell you guys, I did catch a unique. I did catch a unique just the last time I played. I'm going to pop that up here in a second so you can see that, but I did catch one, guys. It was awesome. Not bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, of course, I just, I mean, I pulled him in, and so I went ahead and hit the record, but I wasn't even planning on recording at the time, and lo and behold, it wasn't even trying for him, and I got him. But, yep, got him off a large cut bait at 20 inches, guys, over there by the uh, great parking job. So you can get them. You can get them over there as well. So, they're everywhere. Just keep trying. You will get one, guys. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this started. I don't remember if I have the leader still set for Gar. Let me check here, guys. Probably do. Yes. No? No? It is set for catfish. So, we're going to toss this right out here. Now, there's a lot of places you can catch them. This has always been my favorite. Last time I had a head to head challenge with the Lakaba, Kachi. We played right here, and it's his favorite spot as well. Seems like if you're going to get the catfish, you're going to get them right here. Of course, if you're on the other side in the rubble of old times, then you pretty much throw it in the same position. Just remember that it's just beyond the uh, lily pads over there. On the opposite bank. Now we might get more activity as it gets closer to 7 p.m. But wanted to get a bit of an early start. But looks like we're getting a bite here. Now remember, this could still be a gar. I mean, they tend to 
to like about 20 inches or 30 inches but occasionally they'll go deeper but I'll be able to tell you for sure here in a second whether we've got a gar or we got a catfish and I think we might have a scar no I don't know we might have a catfish alright let's see what we got here nope we got this catfish there you go now that's an average size catfish he isn't bad 21 pounds trophies can get a heck of a lot bigger I think it's a Quachkin Lake that suckers can get up to I don't know close to 100 pounds I guess and they could be unique but I don't know let me take a picture see if he, you just hold him up or if you there you go see I wish you did that with the gar that way you could get a better look at him see that's a much better pose in my opinion that's I wish they changed that for the gar but yeah you can just you get a better idea just how big this fish is see love that that is a great pose great pose I'm gonna as a matter of fact I'm gonna get a picture of that all right very happy with that that's what I was that was what I was going for but it's right seems like it's right out here it's not see the gar are more on this side where the catfish are more further in in the channel where it's deep now I've got this set to 80 inches you can do it at 98 but things have changed a little bit and it seems like there's a lot more shallower areas so then it kind of tips over on its side but I catch them just as well at 80 and it stays straight up and down just like that and I prefer it to, to look like that it just I don't know just it's just a thing with me I guess it looks like we're getting another bite maybe nope he's still there yep I think we got us another one and yeah, this is definitely my favorite spot now he's a little smaller than the other one was but he's still a decent flathead 18 pounds that's nothing to sneeze at Now you might not get the trophies to closer to 7 p.m. But looks like we're doing really good already. Won't take long at all to fill that fish castle L that I have there that goes up to 440 pounds. Do this for three hours up to about 9 p.m. And I swear to God that thing's going to be full. And that is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like going to Michigan and just filling up on blue catfish so love to do that things have changed though you can't get out to that little uh, floating pier anymore from what I understand unless you have a kayak I was not happy about that change in things because that's where I used to catch tons and tons of blue cats and now you have to get a god blessed boat first not real sure I like that but you know things are what they are alright looks like we got us another bite had a little bit of a pause there for a while guys but yep there he goes I think it's still just a regular cat Nope, nope, look, check it out, guys. Long nose gar. Yep, he was down to 80 inches, though. Like I said, though, I really wish that you could do a pose with these guys. See, right now, if you do the P, you just hold them straight up and... No, wait a minute. Hey, they did it. Maybe they listened to me. That's better. That's much better. Yeah. Now we can see what they look like. See, I prefer that pose much better than the other one where you're hang holding them up and down. I wish that would have happened with the unique I had. Damn, it sucks. 
All right, that's okay. We'll keep him. But yeah, I was a little surprised that it happened to be a long nose that time. Usually at this, in this location, it's usually the flathead, especially down at 80 inches. Occasionally, though, you will get the gar. And there's nothing wrong with that. They still bring in some fairly good cash. And they don't take up as much room in your fish castle. <laughs> But yeah, usually it seems like around 60 to 70 feet out tends to be best. And I'm determined to see if I can't get me a trophy. It's been a, quite a while since I've got one. Last time I got one, I got it on, I think it was 8 or 6 pound test. Fought that son of a gun for like, seemed like an hour, I swear. I finally got him in. Night fishing that time. There we go. There we go. Need to get some of this slack up. If he decides to take it, I want to be able to sure to get him. I'm not so sure. He might have quit on me. Ah, damn it. I think he quit. Nope. Nope. Sounds like I got somebody trying to talk to me too, so they're gonna have to hold on just a minute. What the hell is this fish gonna do? Okay, he's still there. There he goes. And he is probably a cat. He was just being real particular. There we go. And he's a flathead. He's a little bit smaller than the last one. Damn. Determined to get that trophy, but I'm not going to get it, it looks like. Alright, we'll keep him. Yeah, guys, I'm going to quickly check to see who's trying to message me here. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we are here at the Great Parking... What is it? The Great Parking Job? Is that what it's called exactly? Let me see here. Yeah, Great Parking Job. I want to be sure I got that right. I'm going to try this mole cricket larva just to see what it does. It's a new bait that I haven't used before for catfish. It may be only for Wells catfish, but we're going to see if it does any good for these guys as well. The flatheads might go for it. I mean, it's worth a shot. But we're still here at 80 inches depth, and we're going to see just... I'll be damned. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. You want it. You know you do. He is definitely... He's definitely interested. Looks like got us another bite here. There we go. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it's not a catfish. Ah! Ah, smallmouth bass. Guess they go for them too. Holy float. Catch certain number of fish using float tackle. Two gold coins. I'll take that. Not bad. Yeah, I have run out of my best flathead catfish bait here, guys. Damn. Figures. Large menace, that's about it. That's all I got left. I only have 11 of those. Just about worn out my welcome here, guys. That's all there is to it. Got a spite. Maybe. Don't know. 
keep hearing that ding. That's the thing, though, with this these large minnows. Sometimes I think they set it off. So now officially 9 p.m. We still got something that may be interested, but there he goes. Finally. All right. There we go. And I think this may be a catfish. Fairly decent size. Come on, big guy. There you go. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, guys, I thought I was recording earlier. I apparently was talking, and I wasn't recording at all. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And guys, always remember to aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Make sure you have the fun, guys. Nothing needs to be that serious in life. But anyway, guys... I will see you later. Bye-bye.